Hello everyone, I am in the car but I thought uh, I'd use the time. This particular spectator for Kavana, number six, is dedicated as always to the memory of Rina, Maya, and Lucy D. Hashem Yikom Damam. The sixth way to get to Kavana, says the Shla, in the name of the Derek Achayim, is not to raise your voice during davening. Namely, to daven quietly. When you daven quietly, you get to good Kavana. It's interesting that that is the halacha. The halacha is that during Shmon Esrei, you should daven, you should daven quietly. According to some, however, you should daven loud enough that you should hear, but not loud enough that others will hear. And I have to say that this is one of the most, excuse me for saying so, annoying things that happen during davening. Namely, when people are ultimately in davening and they daven loud, that I have to hear their davening. The idea of the Amida is a rendezvous between you and God. And it's such a rendezvous that only you and God should hear it and not other people. And there's no doubt in my mind that when others raise their voice, that unfortunately they are bothering you. And therefore, whether you get to Kavana with davening loudly or softly is a question. But there's no question in my mind that someone should not daven so loud that he bothers the person next to him during the silent Amida. So therefore, I would say that when it comes to raising your voice or not during the silent Amida, it's a really a fielder's choice if you're davening alone. But if you're davening in a minion, there's different rules and regulations. Very much like how long do you daven the Amida? If you're at home, whatever gets you to good kavana. However, if you're in a minion and there's only nine and they have to wait for you, we have to follow what Rabbi Akiva did in the Gemara and make sure that we daven quick enough that no one has to wait for us. So, kavana is different with regard to voice whether you are at home or in minion. In minion, be sensitive to others. At home, whatever gets you to kavana. Wishing everyone a substantial Yom Hazikaron.